Okay, so I have been practicing coding in C Sharp today, which is the same thing that the programmer blocks use in Space Engineers, because I'm going to start trying out coding in that game. Anyways, I wrote this code, probably pretty inefficient. I could use the simplified method for the if blank else. But anyways, so you type in .NET run on command prompt windows, and it'll start doing that, and then I decide to do a little loading animation. Okay, and that should be over roughly now. Input username, I decide to just do test um, user shift name which was dumb. I don't know why I had name capitalized, it's the same. Anyways, test username is in input password, and I just decided to set it to test shift pass word. And it took me a while to do this. I had to keep figuring out what was wrong. I wrote it on my Chromebook and it wasn't working when I moved it to here, so I had to fix a bunch of stuff. Don't know why I wrote, like, wrote it in exactly the same. And the account information was entered successfully. It took me like 10 minutes, um, or not 10, like half an hour, I mean. Yeah, half an hour to you know, fix all the code, which really isn't a lot. And my finger was in the way of the camera. That's annoying. Anyways, now I'm going to show you the version I have on my Chromebook. Okay, this is what I have on my Chromebook. I'm scrolling to the top. So it's the same, except you may notice a lot more strings. And the default for the strings is storage one is unassigned. Answer, um, del text, which stood for delete, which I need to get rid of because I'm not using that anymore. And these are all, this is all the code I have. Second, let me scroll to the bottom. Yeah, I have like roughly 210 lines of code, most likely 190 something. Took me 10 hours to do, and when you see it, you're going to be very unimpressed. Okay, so I'm going to stop. Okay, and run. One second there. And input username for this one, since I had fin you know nearly finished it, I put it as the not the next and the password was the night will come. And you may notice this. Now it's on a five second sleeper delay, which will wait a moment. You know, just say, have a good day, the Anakshvema. Options, um, one to three. Um, I haven't found a way to actually make it so when you type something in, it'll be stored in the code. I'm going to see if that's even possible. But input storage option, or input number for storage option. Options one through three will lose their data if the code stops running, and those are the only options, although I've only coded one and two. Anyways, you put in one, it'll say temporary storage one. I'm gonna wait till it loads, it takes 10 seconds. Okay, there. Yeah, I, I did a 10 second sleep delay. Anyways, so if I type read, it will say, one second, showing storage one storage one is unassigned so I have to go back here now I'm gonna get rid of the delay on here or maybe make it like three or four seconds that it'll just show up because waiting 10 is pretty stupid anyways now so we go to edit and data is temporary for storage one it says but now I can type test Testing, testing, yeah, I can't delete stuff on here, so if I make a mistake, I have to live with it. <laughs> Anyways, testing, testing, one, two, three, 
enter. Now let's say this isn't correct. You type n, it'll take you back to here, which is that. So edit. Then we have to wait again. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't actually think we have to wait. I just forgot. It won't show up anything. But now, abra cadabra. I n wait. Could and I messed up again, but let's just say that this is correct, even though I really messed up. I wasn't looking at the keyboard. Anyways, we type in Y, and then let's go to one again, and then, you know, we have to wait 10 seconds. I'll skip to when it loads. Okay, and now that it's loaded, we go to read, and it'll just tell me whatever I wrote there. But if I end the code and start it again, what will happen is it won't be saved. Anyways, this took me, so I started at like 8 a.m. and then finished, well, so roughly 6 or p.m. But anyways, so yeah, around like 10 hours. I'm not sure exactly when, more like 5 I ended, but still. But it took me like roughly 10 hours just to code this but it's mainly like I was trying to figure out how stuff worked I was looking up code from other things to figure out how like I could integrate that code into this and yeah 10 hours of time just for that I think I found the under one well actually no I already un understood why it takes so long to code a video game anyways anybody actually even sees this video, tell me what you think.